Hey everyone, it's Alina from X and the Mate Mastery here. And today we're going to talk about when you add a line item to your estimate, but it either gets mixed up in the middle of your estimate items or maybe goes to the end and you want it to be like the second on your list and you have to click and drag and it's a big mess and a big time suck. So I want to show you how you can avoid that by using one simple tool in the estimate item screen in Xactimate. So we're going to start here in an estimate in the estimate items tab here you can see at the top of the screen is where I'm at and what we've got is a nice long laundry list of line items that are needing to be added to this roof. However, I need to add a second layer removal charge and I have a certain way that I like to write estimates. I like to deal with the shingles first at the very top of the estimate and you can see here I have the tear off which of course will be fine. I can enter that but I need an additional layer uh, that will sit here right underneath this tear off. So what most people do is they will either left click OK, which will take you to the bottom of the list, and then try to add the second layer removal here like this, and then um, go ahead and drag this guy all the way to the top. And sometimes it'll work for you. Recently, it, it kind of scoots its way up. It's not all that reliable. Sometimes if you go over to the arrow, that'll work. Well, not today. What I'm trying to say is this can get very frustrating when you have a long list of line items and you're trying to add a new item that you want to be at the top of your list. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just go ahead and delete that line item off. The other odd thing that's been happening is I'll go and add a line item and let's say that I um, have something selected and yeah, I, I left click out of it or left click OK. Sometimes this line doesn't go to the bottom of my estimate. It like sticks in the middle. So I'll add my new line item but it will stay like at line item 87. It won't push it to the bottom, it won't put it where I want it to be, and it's a big huge mess. So let me show you how to avoid all of that. So I'm going to select the RFG 300S, I'm going to left click on it, then I'm going to right click, which is going to open a menu window here, and under line edit options you have a slide out menu where you can click insert insert that line item right there. It's not going to move for me. It's going to go ahead and just fit right in there, beautiful on the estimate, and I know that that line will be added right there where I want it to be. Now that I've added that second line item to the list, notice that this blank line is hanging out here. This could also be a problem if now you want to add things to the end of the list and not right here, you know, build your list in the middle of your estimate. So wherever the blank line resides in your estimate, that is where it's going to start adding your new line item. So to reset this and move my blank line back to the bottom of the estimate, we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. Otherwise, that is also going to be a new issue is I want to add all of my items in the middle, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to hit cancel here. I'm just going to click it. And there, it's moved that blank line to the very end of the estimate and everything's looking good again. So that's how to insert line items without getting lost. It's been a real stress reliever for me ever since I found that and started using it because I'm always inserting items and wanting to move things around and that just seems like the most quick and efficient way to do that. So my name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. I hope you enjoyed this week's tip. If you did, go ahead and like this video. Comment below if you have other questions or any time-saving tips that you use when you're using Xactimate. For more information on XM8 Mastery, please visit www.xm8mastery.com and I'll see you next week.